Good morning everyone, Sunday the 10th of May. Um, it's about 7 o'clock in the morning, I've been up since 6. Um, doing some more decorating in the bedroom. If you saw my previous decorating video you'll know that I'm painting the bedroom all white. You'll also know that the plan was to leave this wallpaper on because I quite like the texture and the sort of, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a it's not a pattern as such but it's it's a nice texture and just paint white over it as you can see I've done some test samples. Problem is um, I painted this wall all white with the paper on and the paper hasn't been put on very well so unfortunately all the joints um, of the paper lifted. Um, I don't know if you can see, probably not, no not really. I'm trying to, oh here we are, <laughs> well <laughs> this is a good example. As you can see, I mean it's, it's, there's, I don't know how they've put it on but with glue but hardly any glue. So because this paper is not stuck down, as soon as you put the paint on the paper, because of course the paint is full of moisture, um, as the moisture evaporates into the room and into the wall, the paper's just lifted up and all the joints have lifted. And what, I'm, what I mean by joints, I'm trying to find one that I can show you. What I mean by joints lifted is that obviously you have strips of wallpaper and where you join the strips, the joints have kind of come away and they're very, very visible. I mean, you can't really, there is a, a joint, you can't see it with this camera unfortunately. You can just see it at the top there, the line coming down. That's the joint between the strip of paper. It's not too bad there, but of course as soon as you wet this paper, the joint just lifts up and the paint is bulging off the wall. So what I'm doing, or what I've been doing since 6 this morning, is I'm, I've now unfortunately, I've got to strip all of the wallpaper off the walls. Um, get the glue off the walls with some sugar soap because there's some glue left. If you uh, if you paint a bare wall that's still got wallpaper glue on it, it will look absolutely awful. So you want to, if you've got, you know, you can feel it's sticky. If you want to paint onto a bare wall after removing wallpaper, please make sure that the wall isn't sticky. And if it is, just buy yourself some sugar soap. Um, I don't know if it's called sugar soap everywhere in the world, but it is in Britain. You just mix some sugar soap with a little bit of water and it cuts through glue and grease and stuff and you wipe it on the wall. Leave it for a minute or so and then wipe it with a dry cloth and it just brings the walls up really clean. So yeah, the ceiling unfortunately has still got one coat of white on it. I'm way behind schedule. I really had planned to have this bedroom pretty much finished by today. But it's been a quite a nice uh, few days, sunny and warm, and my dad... I spent most of yesterday at my mum and dad's house, which is 10 minutes walk, uh, five, six minute walk from my front door in Thatcham. And I spent most of yesterday at my dad's allotment in Thatcham. I'm actually going to be getting an allotment in Thatcham myself. And if you've watched my previous allotment videos, the allotment I have in Thiel, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to go back to Thiel to look after that allotment um, because it's you know in the summer I have to go there every day and water and it's impossible anyway I'll, I'll make a video today with an allotment update just explaining that so there should be another video tomorrow about my situation with the allotment anyway um, I'm moving away from topic uh, to back to the decorating so as you can see what I've done here is I've removed you can't see <laughs> sorry about this the light is really lousy in here at the moment this is the top uh, wallpaper and this is the um, lining paper that's underneath. So literally just, um, let me just grab this. I'm just using, sorry, the cameras. I'm trying to hold a camera and do something else. So literally, luckily this paper comes off really easily. As you can see, you just need to use a, scraper and then you can peel it off and it reveals the paper underneath then what I do is I've got an old bucket with some warm water and a big clean paintbrush just paint a lot of water onto the paper and then this this under paper here once it's wet will just peel straight off then you sugar soap and then paint the walls do the woodwork obviously but yeah it's just a very quick update um, just to show you that the plans have changed 
I've got to take off all the wallpaper, which is a shame because, as I said, I really like, I really like the um, the sort of texture of the paper, especially as you can see, I put some white squares just to test to see what it would look like, and I think it looks really nice with white, but you know the paper hasn't been put on well. The joints have all come up, so all the paper's got to come off. Um, yeah, there's a bad joint there. You see, as soon as if I paint, if I paint on this, you can see. I don't know if you can, but you can see that's already. Look how easy that's lifting up. Um, as soon as you put any moisture on that in the paint, that's just going to bubble up, and it will look absolutely terrible. So yeah, quick update. I hope you're having a good Sunday. You had a good weekend, and I will make another video some point today about my allotment update and the unfortunately I won't be going to Thiel uh, well I will be going back to Thiel because I've got it for a year, I've paid for it for a year, I will be going back to harvest the fruit trees and the raspberries and the strawberries but I won't be planting anything else but I'll let you know all about that in the next video um, just to say that I do have a blog where um, I'm going to be keeping in contact with people so if you'd like to go to my blog the address will be well, I'll put the address on the screen, but it will also be in the description box. Um, I'm going to use my blog to make sort of textually based updates, because if I just want to update people and say hello to people, obviously it's much quicker to type it on a blog than it is to make a video, and then edit the video, and then upload the video. So, obviously I'll still be making videos, but I'm going to use my blog and my YouTube channel together to keep everybody updated. Hope you're all well, thank you very much for watching, and um, have a great Sunday, and if, you ha if you're watching this today on Sunday, please think of me, because I'm going to be spending all day scraping wallpaper off the walls, and also cleaning sticky glue off my walls, so, <laughs> um, you know, have a drink for me, and think of me. Okay, I'll see you all very soon, thank you so much for watching.